guys, welcome back to my channel. Chessie here, aka Miss Tricky Holic. So for today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys. Actually, I've been playing around with these babies for a few days now, and these are the BLK Cosmetics Face Stack. not a first impression anymore because I wanted to try out the product first for a few days and also I did a wear test so you'll see that later but if you want to see my review and swatches for all these BLK face stacks you know the drill please keep on watching okay guys so these are the BLK face stacks as you can see they're all stacked together but this is how it looks like if it's an uh, individual here is the box so I already removed the box but this is how it looks like so it comes with a protective film because there's a hole so I don't have the film but my film is there and then this is the packaging very nice packaging I really love the packaging because it's very simple at the back you have says their face tap ingredients sorry this is room service I couldn't find the box for tan lights but the shade is tan lights so this costs 299 each and this is only 2 grams so when you say multi pot especially in itsura niya guys it reminds me so much of the Sunny's Face Air Blushes. Don't worry guys, I will do a comparison between them. For me, they are very similar but I'll tell you more about that on that video. If you are gonna buy the face stack, kailangan guys may mirror. Kasi if wala, hindi siya mapoprotect. So you need this mirror. So this one, man, super cute. I love the design. It's like abstract. Which is also very similar to Sunny's Face. But anyway, so yeah, nagsa-stack sila. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh my god! Ayan, nakita nyo, may force and then, ba't ayaw? Baka dapat pag ganito. So, this is 399. I got this a Beauty MNL. Tip lang guys, if you want to purchase something from BLK Cosmetics, it is better to buy sa store because sa store, you get a free mirror for a minimum purchase of 649 or 699. I am not sure. Sayang because I got mine nung launch nila ng 12 a.m. So, besides the individual, the 299 for one multipot and then with a the mirror, 399. You can also get a set, a set of three worth 990. You don't save anything, pero it's more of yung time. I honestly wanted to buy the set. Para tatlong set, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, and then tapos na. Kaya lang, hindi pa siya available at that time. I was a little bit disappointed because inabangan ko talaga sa Beauty MNL nung launch nila ng 12am, but sold out pa rin nung 12am, 12.10, 12.15, about 12.30, naging open yung for add to cart. So I don't know what happened. The three sets, we have Wonderlust, Pool Party, and staycation what i'm wearing right now is room service super love the shade so i'm wearing room service for my eyes cheeks and lips and then you can see the highlight there and the contour so ginamit ko na siya today but i've been using it again for days because i didn't want to do a first impression i did film this a few days ago yung bang first impression pero i decided na mas magandang yung i-review ko talaga for you guys na na-test ko na para yung thoughts ko yun na talaga first let's talk about yung consistency niya. If you've been watching my channel for the longest time, you know how much I love multipots. Kaya when they released this, I was super excited na nag-abanga talaga ako. So yung formula niya guys, it's a velvety matte finish. For me, yung pagka-velvet niya, I guess you can say na velvet, but when you touch it, it's a little bit oily. Hindi ko alam guys kung may oil siya, pero yun lang yung napansin ko sa kanya. Now, when you apply it sa face, like for tan lines, hindi siya super pigmented. So, this is best for beginners. So, kung nag-start ka lang mag-contour, cream contour, okay yung tan lines for you. Light lang siya. Hindi siya yung parang, oh my god, sobrang grabe na yung contour. Sometimes kasi pag sobrang pigmented, higing grayish na or naiiwan, especially me, nangyayari talaga sa akin, especially when I travel, kasi mabilisan na may contour pa ako dito sa face core, even sa videos. But this one, guys, it is very 
subtle. But of course, you can build it up. Parang gooey siya. But when you put it sa arm mo, or sa face mo, nagiging matte naman siya. Parang soft matte. So as you can see, one swipe lang yan. Kita nyo na guys, na hindi siya ganun ka-pigmented. One more. Try natin para mas makita nyo. So this is super easy to blend. Para ko siyang tinatap, like with a brush. Para talagang magstay And then saka ko siya i-blend. Kasi madali lang naman siya i-blend. And madali din naman magdagdag if kailangan. So for me, okay naman yun sa akin. Kaya lang guys, I wanted to compare it from their universal stick. So nakita nyo, two swipes tong si Tan Life. And I am gonna show you so, isang ganyan lang. Kita nyo yung difference that this is just one swipe and this is two swipes. That's why I didn't wanna do a first impression because the first time I tried it, I was expecting sort of yung formula or yung performance ng Universal Stick na Coco. So yung pros nga niya, it's very easy to blend. It, you can build it up naman. So, hindi siya harsh. Especially kung hindi naman mataba yung face nyo. Kasi ako, since mataba yung face ko, I really have to put a lot. Especially sa jawline para hindi makita ang ating double chin. But comparing it to Coco, if you want pigment, Coco. Same goes with the highlight. Kung mapapansin nyo sa face ko, when I'm looking at you directly, parang hindi siya ganun kahalata. I did put setting spray, kaya parang medyo lumalabas yung glow. But when I do this, kitang-kita, when the highlight hits the light, ah, tama ba? When my highlight hits this light that I have here, kitang-kita siya. This as a very subtle or natural highlight. So, makikita nyo sa swatch pa lang. Same formula din with the contour. Yun nga lang, yung shimmer niya, guys, will give you a wet look. Pero yung color niya, it's more of a champagne-y, bronzy. Hindi ko maintindihan eh. Ayan, so, two swipes ulit para makita nyo kasi hindi siya masyadong nakikita. Pero yan, very subtle, di ba? Let us compare it with the Universal Stick. So, gusto ko guys na makipakita sa inyo para you have options. Because they're both cream products and pareho silang BLK. So, this is the champagne. So, si Jet Setter, nakikita siya pero hindi siya masyadong kita pag naka-straight. But when I do this to my arm, nakikita nyo na nag-glow siya. Now, this is, medyo nabugbog ko na to, champagne, ang Universal Stick. Kitang-kita guys yung difference na this is way more pigmented. You can also build this up. So kung hindi nyo ba napapanood, meron ako review nitong BLK Universal Collection. I'll just put it here. I just wanted to compare it para alam nyo. So pigmentation wise, Universal Stick. Ito kasing BLK Face Tack. Sa days na tinry ko siya, na-realize ko na this is a on-the-go palette. Stackable palette. And it's very perfect for traveling. And I love the concept. Pero hindi nga siya ganun ka pigmented and konti lang yung laman niya guys. 2 grams versus, hindi ko maalala kung ilan to. Barang 10 grams yata to. So, yun lang. Next are the blushes. So, sa blushes ako super excited. Didn't know, I really love the Sunny's Face Air blushes. So, nung nakita ko na nag-release si BLK ng ganito, oh my god! Sobrang na-shock ako. And I was so excited. Ito yung minaka-excited ako guys. So, BLK release for blushes. Let us start with with pool party. So, ginaganyan-ganyan ko lang, guys, para makuha natin yung pigment. Whoa! Ang ganda! Very perfect for summer, guys. The shade, it's orange, but with a hint of peach. Parang peachy orange. Ayan. Oh my god. I'll zoom you in later. Now, guys, meron din akong i-compare sa Universal Stick because they have the shade Rosé. So, yung Rosé nila is yung orange shade nila. Oh, kita nyo naman. I had to dip my finger hard dito sa pool party. But I do love the shade. But this is rosé. Next is Wonderlust. Ina-dip ko lang ulit para makita nyo. Typical rosy pink. So, last for the Universal Stick. Para lang makita nyo yung comparison. Or kung meron na kasi kayo ng Universal Stick with these shades, baka hindi nyo na kailangan. Ito yung malapit sa Wonderlust na may pagka-staycation yung shade niya. Pero guys, ba? pansin nyo, grabe yung pigment. Grabe talaga. So this a little goes a long way. With the face tax kasi, especially the blushes, ako kasi personally, gusto ko yung drunk blush look. So kung gusto nyo naman yung natural look, yun yung binibigay niyang vibe. It's very subtle, natural looking lang. You will love this. Pero for me, I wanna dip and dip and dip my fingers and pat it on my face kasi gusto ko yung ganito. Kahit 
everyday gusto ko ganito yung blush ko. Not only in front of the camera, but personal preference. Two more blushes. At mapapansin nyo sa shade pa lang. <laughs> so, first is room service. The one I am wearing right now. Tumihan natin. Yun nga lang guys, no? 2 grams lang siya. So, for sure, I'm gonna repurchase and repurchase this. Kasi ang bilis nitong maubos. Super nice color. And then last but not the least is staycation. Ayun, I don't know kung mapapansin nyo. Parang may pagka-oil, may film siya. Hindi ko alam. Like, two swipes ako para mas makita nyo. Malayo pa lang, kita nyo na na grabe yung pigment niyo. Universal Collection versus Kay Face. Okay, guys. So, these are the swatches. The first one is Tan Lines. The Contour Shade. And then we have Jet Setter. And then we have Pool Party. Peachy Orange. Then Wonderlust. Room Service. And Staycation. So, those are all the face tags. So, as I mentioned earlier, I did a wear test. But before I reveal to you the wear test, I know, guys, super excited na kayo sa swatches. I think ito yung pinaka-inaabangan sa mga reviews ko. And I am also excited to swatch the only blush na hindi ko pa nalalagay sa face ko which is pool party so if you want to see all the swatches on my eyes cheeks and lips you know the drill please keep on watching staycation all over my face and I love it. But before I tell you my final thoughts, let's first move on to the wear test.
guys, so this is how it looks like after working out. And kita niya highlight, hindi to pa rin yung highlight. Pero yung blush nag fade na siya, pero meron pa rin konti. Pero nag mix na siya sa sweat ko. Siya pa sa lips wala na. Pero hindi pa ako makain, guys. Water lang yan. And yung contour dito sa jawline, you can still see it a little bit sa mga dito sa my cheeks. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a wear test. So this is my second time to do the wear test. I heard na it will last six to eight hours, so we'll see. If I'm weeko, nandito pa rin yung face tap sa face ko. So I have all the shades. I don't know what to choose. Eka pili ka. So I don't have any. Ashi mo ganda. Hindi ko pa to na tatry. So I'm gonna use staycation. So ayon siya guys. Kung wala. Then the highlights. Next is for the lips. I want to mix Wonderlust, so I'm gonna use this as my base, and then the staycation. It's already 10:02. I'll get back to you later. Sorry guys, yung base, sobrang nag-dry skin ko. Ang pangit ng base na nilagay ko. Hey guys! So I forgot to give you an update for pagka-uwi ko. So I just had dinner and almost 9 hours na yung makeup ko. It's already 6.49pm. I applied my makeup around 10am. And wala na talaga siya. But you can see, wala naman ako masyadong ginawa. Like, sa office lang ako the whole day. But I had lunch out. So, nabilad ako ng konti sa sun. But, sorry guys kung maingay. But yung blush, wala na talaga guys. And of course, the lips. Now for the eyes, meron pa rin siya eh. Parang nagkaroon siya ng stain. Now for my final verdict. So from the wear test, I would say that the BLK face tax, it would last you an average of 4 to 6 hours. For me, hindi siya ganun katagal. I expected it about 8 hours. Take note na hindi ako nag-powder. So I guess if you put powder after putting your cream product or your face tax, it would last longer. Now for sweat proof, it's not sweat proof, pero nag-iwan siya ng stain. And what I love about the blushes, so kung nakita niyo sa wear test, nag fade siya gradually. So parang sa opis sa drunk blush yung itsura ko, but then after a few hours, nagiging natural na siya sa cheeks. So, ang advice ko kung gusto niyo yung gano'n na mag-last longer yung blush, mag-drunk blush muna kayo, like apply a lot and then it will gradually fade naman into a natural blush. By the end of the day, meron ka pa blush. So, let's start with these two. I am super amazed because this lasted me for about 6, I guess 6 to 8 hours. Even after working out, it was still there. It blended or meshed with my sweat and even after I took a shower, guys, May konting highlight for it. Medyo may pagka waterproof siya. So, sa beach or sa pool? Yes. For natural contour, okay to because it's very subtle and it is good for beginners. Guys, yung longevity niya. Pareho sila guys eh. Nagulat ako. It stayed on my face the whole entire day. May contour pa rin ako sa jawline. Yung dito lang nag-fade na. These two are long lasting. I did test this sa swatch, sa eyes, sa lips. Of course, sa eyes. Pwede to, yung tan lines. If you want a base, it's gonna be a cool tone shade because pag contour, diba, grayish brown yung shade. Pero it will still work like as a base. For the highlight, I did just put it sa eyes ko and kasi yung texture niya nga na may parang oil. I don't know guys if it's oil pero ganun talaga yung consistency niya pag hinawakan. I don't advise it kung wala kayong base. Ang ginawa ko kasi walang base sa swatches para makita niyo talaga. Because of that formula, kasi sa cheeks, nagiging wet look siya. So, sa eyes, for me, hindi siya ganun ka okay. Pero, it will still work. But for me, personally, I would just use it as a highlight on my cheekbones, nose, and lips. Now, for the blushes, iba yung naging experience ko. So, this one, guys, it has the same formula with tan lines and jet setter. Well, jet setter is a shimmer, so I guess I can't really compare it. Yung consistency lang. But, si tan lines, they're both matte. And, they have the same formula. But, the longevity 
Beauty, no. They're not the same. I don't know kung bakit ganun. The first time I tried the blushes, I used room service. And yun yung nagulat ako nung sa first wear test ko na, what? After two hours, wala naman akong ginawa. Nakaupo lang ako. Nag-fade na siya. As in, ang bilis. Mga two hours lang yata, if I'm not mistaken. Two or three hours, nag-fade na siya. So parang, ha? Huh? Kala ko ba long lasting? That's why I gave it another try. Now, nung na-realize ko na I was expecting kasi na same pa rin yung magiging itsura niya sa cheeks after about 4 hours. But it does fade easily. So at first, inisip ko, bakit ganun? Bakit siya nag-fade ka agad? I have dry skin naman. So, hindi oily yung skin ko na para mag-melt na lang siya sa face ko. Then I realized it's because of the formula. Yung consistency niya na parang may oil nga siya. Hindi ko ma-explain. But it states na it's a velvet matte. Pero yung pagka-velvet niya, it gives you a dewy look. Ito guys, yung makeup ko, wala na tong highlight. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, because of the blush, parang meron akong glow. Now, as a multi-pot, I like it sa eyes. Although, nagkakaroon nga ako ng nagkikrease yung eyes ko, but that's me. So, I just have to set it with a powder. Kung ganun din yung lids nyo, guys, na nagkikrease. For cream products, just set it with a powder. At translucent powder, <laughs> para hindi naman matanggal yung color. Now, for the cheeks, okay na okay. For me, kahit hindi siya long-lasting, all of the shades are so beautiful. They look so fresh. They are buildable. You can do a natural flush lang, na parang konti-konti lang, parang kinikilig ka lang, or a drunk blush. Sa lips, guys, ang ganda niya ito sa lips because it gives you this diffused color. Yung, eh, kung mapapansin nyo, parang powder matte yung dating niya sa lips. But it is very comfortable. But if you have dry lips like me, it's still best to exfoliate your lips, put a lip balm under Hindi ko masabing nakaka-dry siya completely because it's not a liquid lipstick. But because they are matte, may konting dryness pa rin. And it's not like a lipstick or a velvet liquid lipstick na maha-hide niya yung dryness or yung pagbabalat ng lips. Talagang kitang-kita. So now that I told you my final thoughts, would I recommend the BLK Cosmetics Face Tax to you guys? Hmm. For me, it's a yes but also a no. Yes! Because I love the idea that you can stack it. So super convenient. Stack mo lang lahat ng makeup mo. I wish they would create more shades. Especially for the contour and the highlight. I would love to see more shades. Especially for the highlight guys. Kasi yung highlight nga nila, maganda yung formula na wet. Looking lang siya and very subtle, very natural. Pero parang kulang sa shades. It is universal but still, you know, we want that gold, that rose gold shade. Yung mga ganong shade. Also for the contour, sana magkaroon sila ng bronzer shade. Or also a bronzer na shimmer. Another yes because I love the formula, especially for the blushes. I love it na parang ang fresh lang. It's so easy to blend. Nakita niyo yan sa swatches. Pat, pat, pat lang, then blend. Kahit mapadami ka, super blendable. Hindi ka magbumukang, whoa, if ayaw nyo ng drunk blush. Madali lang siyang mag-subside sa cheeks nyo. But if you want a drunk blush, you can also build it up. I love all the blushes, but if I had to choose only one, I would go with room service. And then two, take Asia. And then three, top three, pero apat na yung blushes, pool party. For the highlight and the contour, okay siya kasi long-lasting siya. No, because of the price. If first time mo mag-purchase nitong face tap, you can't buy the 299. So at first, you really have to buy the one with the mirror. So this is 399 for 2 grams only. I love multi-pots. I love multi-sticks. And ang dami ko nang na-try, guys. So para lang sa price niya and yung quantity, hmm, Yun. Parang sayang sana dinamihan nila for that price. So, abangan nyo yung comparison video from the Sunny's face and the BLK face tax. I am very excited to share that with you. And also, abangan nyo din yung pwedeng dupe or maybe even better na multipot soon. So, yun lang guys. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please mag-subscribe na kayo guys para notified kayo whenever I upload new videos. Kakayanin natin yan. I am very, very busy with work. Halos hindi na nga ako natutulog pero para sa inyo guys, mag-review at mag-review tayo. And because I love what I do, feel free to comment down below your thoughts on the face tags and even your video suggestions. Just put it on the comment section down below. Also, if you want to watch more videos, just check the description box. I put mga links there na similar products or mga multi-products. They're down below. So yun na guys. I'll see you again next time. Bye!